Are you looking to register for Project Catalyst on your Yoroi wallet? Well, you've come to the right place. Let's figure out how together. Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today, we're gonna to take a look at how you can register for Catalyst using your Yoroi wallet. One thing I'll say is this video right now is being filmed during Fund 4, and for Fund 4, there's only support for Yoroi software wallets. However, they've already announced that they plan on doing integrations with the Ledger hardware wallet for Yoroi in the future, so make sure you check the FAQ for that fund to see if hardware wallet support is enabled for Yoroi. In the meantime, if you're watching this during Fund 4 and you have a hardware wallet and want to participate in the voting process, we recommend you check out our video on how to register for Project Catalyst using Adalite, which already supports the Ledger hardware wallet. All right, so as previously mentioned, we're filming this video during Catalyst Fund 4, but if you're watching this sometime in the future, you can come to the IOHK support site, go to Project Catalyst, and check out the FAQ for the fund that you're in for more information on how to get installed and any specific particular information about the fund that you happen to be in. So for us, we'll open up the Fund 4 FAQ. We'll put a link to both this main Project Catalyst section as well as the FAQ for Fund 4 in the description below. And additionally, if you'd like some more information about what Project Catalyst is and how the voting works, check out our previous weekly recap where we dove into it in some more detail. The main thing you're going to want to confirm for any given fund that you're participating in is the minimum ADA required to vote. For Fund 4, if we scroll down, we see here it's 500 ADA excluding rewards. But make sure to double check for the fund that you're participating in, the FAQ for that fund, to make sure that you're eligible. So let's go ahead and get started with Yoroi. So first thing we're going to want to do is come over to Yoroi, select the wallet that we want to register, but we'll go and look at that wallet. All right, so the next thing we want to do is come to Voting. And then from here, it's gonna to say to register for Fund 4, the first thing we need to do is to download the Catalyst Voting app and then open it up and click on Complete Registration. Then from there, we're gonna click on Register. So let's go ahead and get Catalyst installed on our smartphone. So we've got our smartphone open here. Let's do a search for Catalyst Voting. There it is, let's go ahead and select it. And then click on Get and let's get it installed. Once it's installed, let's go ahead and click on Open. We're gonna get a little slideshow here, funding the future of Cardano. So let's swipe over. Discover, discuss, and vote on proposals. And then pick a challenge and click on the proposals to start exploring. Here's a little pop-up that tells us that all USD amounts displayed in the Catalyst voting app will be rewarded to the winning proposals in ADA. So there's gonna be an actual like exchange that happens from US dollars to ADA when the awards are done, so that's fine. And okay, so now we're all set and it's time to complete our registration to receive our voting power. So let's go back to your Roy. And from here, we're gonna say, okay, let's register. All right, so now at this point, your is gonna give us a pin. We need to write this pin down and we're gonna need it every time we want to access the Catalyst Voting app. So it's very important that you write this pin down somewhere safe on a piece of paper or some other hard copy. Let's confirm that we wrote it down, 8573. We type in our 8573, let's hit on confirm. So now the next two steps, it's going to register us with the network for voting and then give us a QR code. So let's enter our spending password and say, yep, we wanna go ahead and register this wallet for voting. So go ahead and pause us and enter your spending password. Now in this next step, it says, okay, confirm the spending password one more time to register this wallet with the network for voting. We'll see here that we have this quarter, this fraction of an ADA in fees and no actual ADA that's being charged. It's a little confusing, but it's zero ADA plus these fees to do it. So go ahead and put your spending password in again and then hit register. So now these last couple of steps with the QR code and scanning it with the smartphone are identical, whether you're doing it on Daedalus, Yoroi, or Adalite. So since we can only register the smartphone one time with one QR code, we're gonna cut from here and show you how we did it on Daedalus, but it'll be exactly the same for you here on Yoroi. So let's check out how we did it on Daedalus, but again, it'll be exactly the same process for you as soon as you hit register. Once we've hit continue, a QR code's gonna appear. We're gonna scan this QR code right now using our smartphone, but in addition to that, we're gonna need it as part of the voting process when voting opens up. So what you'll need to do is either take a screenshot of this, print it out or save it as a PDF like they have down here below, but make sure that you still have a copy of this QR code somewhere safe throughout the entire voting process, okay? So make sure you do that. So once it's been successfully downloaded or you've taken a screenshot or printed it out otherwise, we're gonna check off and say, I understand that I will not be able to retrieve this QR code again after closing this window. And I acknowledge that I must have downloaded the PDF with the QR code to vote in Fund 4. 
So I got ahead of myself and I closed that screen. Don't do the same thing we did. Make sure now is the step where you're gonna to want to get your smartphone, open it up. I have mine here in the center of the screen. Go to complete registration to receive voting power. You'll click on that. And now here it's gonna to say to register, open Dataless Euroyer Ada Lite. And you're gonna to wanna to click on the bottom where it says scan the QR voting code. So you can either scan the one that you have on your screen right now, or if you did like we did and you closed it too early, you can open up the PDF and scan that. So go ahead and do that, we'll do the same, and then we'll check in with you right after that. Then once you've scanned it, and now it's going to ask you to confirm that pin that it gave you, that important pin you had to pick that you can't lose. So enter that pin in now, and then we'll go from there. So once you've entered your pin, hit decrypt and set access code, and we see here that registration is in process. It'll be completed for fund four here on this date. Your date will obviously be different for different funds. And then your voting power will be determined by the ADA balance in the wallet at the time of the snapshot. So it's not about the amount of ADA you have right now. It's the amount that you have when the snapshot happens, it's on your screen. If you're good with all that, hit, you got it. And so this is a common confusion that we've been hearing from a lot of people and we've seen that's been happening in the Catalyst message boards. At this point, you have registered. Even though it says your voting power is zero, the reason why it says that is because the snapshot has not yet happened. Unfortunately, there's no confirmation that says, hey, you're good to go, you're all set. But if you've gotten to this point, you scanned it, put in the pin, and hit you got it, then you're good to go. Now all you need to do is wait for the snapshot to happen and for voting to open up. When the voting period does open up, we'll put another video out that's summarizing some of the different proposals and show how to vote. But for your registration, you're good to go. So if you want a little more information again about Project Catalyst, check out our previous video where we dug into it in more detail. If not, check out one of our other videos. Congratulations on getting set up for voting, and we'll see you when it's time to vote.